Hello everyone, welcome to RN Tutorials on Mechanics of Leads. In this video lecture, I am going to explain about uh, uh, hydrostatic pressure force and the center of pressure on an inclined plane surface. Okay, for submerged inclined plane surface, uh, which is inclined means here in, it is inclined to the free surface of the liquid in which it is submerged. So, what is the hydrostatic force formula derivation and the center of pressure that is the location of the hydrostatic pressure force we try to derive the equation so first here assume this is as a container which is filled with a liquid assume as a water so in this a plate is taking place which is inclined at an angle of theta to the free surface okay and next here assume uh, the point uh, as a reference O okay the li extended line over the surface of the plate which is intersecting at the free surface of the liquid as O and similarly assume the G is the center of gravity of the plate okay and similarly F which is the uh, hydrostatic pressure force acting at a point okay that is the center of pressure only assume so from the free surface we try to assume certain elements to give the distance to the various elements we have considered here so first uh, h star h star is here the distance of the center of pressure from the free surface that means which is the location of the center of pressure so from the free surface assume it is as h star and similarly h bar is the distance of the center of gravity from the free surface assume we are assuming so again h bar is the uh, distance of center of gravity from the free surface and here for derivation we need to assume a particular elemental strip so to define the location of the elemental strip uh, uh, so first try to assume the elemental strip so this elemental strip for an arbitrary plate here this one is arbitrary plate which is inclined to the free surface so in the top view we can see the shape like this okay and here to define the location we need to assume uh, the distance of this elemental strip from the free surface as h okay and similarly uh, for our uh, calculation and defining the location of the various points uh, related to the elemental strip also again we need to assume another reference line so here on the diagram i have mentioned the h so another uh, reference line assume as o only okay now from o point uh, perpendicular to it draw a line so it is uh, another reference line with reference to which we can define the location for the various elements like center of pressure uh, center of gravity and the elemental strip okay so with reference to the imagined line o so y star is the distance of the center of pressure from o so here that is the y star distance as h star however we have assumed from free surface similarly from uh, another reference line we are assuming it as y star and similarly from the same line y bar is the distance of center of gravity okay that is also we can represent over the diagram and similarly just like h here again you need to represent y which is the distance of elemental strip from the reference imaginary line which is o okay so with reference to these elements we can derive the equation for hydrostatic pressure force and as well as for uh, center of the pressure okay so first we try to we try to uh, so here the y distance I have represented over the diagram next we try to find the hydrostatic pressure force so for finding the hydrostatic pressure force what we have to do the pressure on the strip we need to write okay from the free surface what is the pressure may be acting over the strip we have to write the general formula we know rho g h from the hydrostatic law and similarly another standard formula pressure is equal to we know force by area so this force is equal to we can add it as pressure into area and here we are considering the elemental strip so on the elemental strip what is the small amount of the force is acting we need to write so that small amount of the force df on the elemental strip uh, is equal to we can add it as same pressure for sorry same pressure value into area of the elemental strip that is da we are assuming df as the elemental force and da as the area of the elemental strip okay so in this equation the pressure uh, can be written as rho g h okay which is a standard formula from hydrostatic law into da we can write it as okay next again to modify this equation okay 
we can construct right angle triangles with the help of what are the elements we have assumed over the diagram here okay so one right angle triangle we can construct with the help of h star which is the distance of the center of pressure from the free surface and similarly y star okay which is the distance from the reference line okay now for the center of pressure okay with reference to these two lines we can construct a right angle triangle here okay and now similarly with the help of h bar and y bar we can construct another right angle triangle and similarly with reference to h and y we can construct another right angle triangle okay h and y okay and the angle of inclination this line is vertical and this line is inclined okay when you join these two these will be joining with the free surface only parallel to the plate okay all these y star y bar and y are parallel to the sorry uh, parallel to the plate so whatever the angle maintained by the plate the same angle will be maintained by these sides also then the angles we can represent them as theta with the free surface okay these all horizontal lines uh, can represent the free surface okay from these right angle triangles we can write sin theta is equal to from the first right angle triangle sin theta is equal to we can write it as opponent by hypotenuse so that is h star by y star and again that is equal to in this uh, second right angle triangle we can write h bar by y bar and similarly next from third right angle triangle we can write it as h by y okay so here come to the equation again df elemental force rho g h d a so in place of h from this sin theta relation what we can write h by y is equal to sin theta so when it is h by y is equal to sin theta means we can write it as h is equal to y sin theta so we can write h is equal to y sin theta okay so this equation try to substitute in the df so df is equal to we can write it as rho g h means in place of h you need to write y sin theta into da okay na? so this is the uh, modified equation so when you want to write the total pressure sorry uh, total pressure force only total force means total pressure force for that we need to integrate the equation integral df we need to apply okay so integral df we try to write okay in the next slide i have made this steps uh, as smaller uh, for the reference purpose we can check okay for checking purpose i have made the steps uh, the font size as smaller here so here already we have written f is equal to integral df so integral df means again we can write it as f is equal to integration of df what you got rho g y sin theta da so write rho g y sin theta da okay na? so now uh, take the co constant terms outside of the integral so that is rho g sin theta into integral y da so integral y da is the moment of the area which will give you the location of the center of gravity so that can be written as rho g sin theta a y bar okay so f is equal to we got rho g sin theta a y bar okay that means again here uh, y bar sin theta from the right angle triangles here y bar sin theta is equal to what we can write h bar by y bar is equal to sin theta then y bar into sin theta we can write it as h bar so in place of y bar sin theta we can write it as h bar so completely we'll get the equation f is equal to rho g a h bar okay so hydrostatic force is equal to rho g a h bar which is the hydrostatic force equation which is similar to the vertical plate submerged in the liquid okay this is the way of deriving the equation for the hydrostatic pressure force which is acting below the center of gravity okay so next we go for finding the center of pressure so for finding the center of pressure again we need to make use of moment principle okay so for that we try to write moment of elemental force df okay here the df will be acting over the elemental uh, area we have assumed and we try to write the moment for this elemental force which is acting over the strip so that is equal to the force we have assumed as df df into perpendicular distance to this reference imaginary reference line is y okay df into y we can write it as okay similarly okay df into y means df means here rho g h a which is the pressure force sorry which is the pressure into area of the strip into y as it is right down okay na? so in the next step again what we can write here rho g into h in place of h what we can write h is equal to y sin theta we can write it as so y sin theta in place of h you have to write into y as it is d a y as it is okay 
so here two y's are there we can make it square so try to write rho g sin theta y square da okay which is the moment of the elemental force which is acting over the elemental strip here okay for getting the total moment what you have to do moment of whole force is equal to integration of the equation whatever you got okay now so this rho g sin theta again constant take them outside of the integral then integral y square da will be remaining so integral y square da means here it is the moment of the moment of area which will give you the moment of inertia okay that is rho g sin theta uh, here uh, moment of inertia with reference to the any horizontal reference lines reference line that is we can write it as i naught okay so rho g sin theta i naught is the moment of the whole force from the smaller elemental force we can write the equation okay now so keep aside so next we try to write the moment of the hydrostatic force okay which is at a distance of y star with reference to the oo imaginary line so try to write moment of the hydrostatic force is equal to uh, f into y star we can write okay now so whatever the moment uh, for the uh, moment of hydrostatic force means the total force which is acting over the plate only so already we have written the equation for the moment of total force as rho g sin theta i naught so that will be equal to here moment of the hydrostatic force whole force will be equal to the hydrostatic force only so the moment of these two forces also becomes equal okay so now try to write f into y star is equal to rho g sin theta i naught but we know y star is equal to what we can write again y star from this equation right angle triangle first right angle triangle sin theta is equal to h, h star by y star so y star is equal to we can write it as h star by sin theta and similarly we know that from the principle of uh, parallel axis theorem uh, that is i naught is equal to we can write it as ig plus a a y bar square so here a y bar square means y bar is the distance of the center of gravity with reference to the imaginary line so try to substitute these two in this equation so for that again i'm making these two steps smaller in the next slide so now try to substitute these two in this equation so f into y star means we need to write h star by sin theta and that should be equal to rho g sin theta into in place of i naught which is the moment of inertia is equal to we need to write ig plus a y bar square okay so now try to write h star is equal to h star is equal to the sin theta it com comes to the right side in the numerator then it becomes sin square theta rho g sin square theta of ig plus a y bar square we can write divided by f f we can write okay similarly now uh, try to write the equation of f hydrostatic force already we got it as rho g h bar okay so now again rho g rho g will be getting cancels in the numerator and denominator next so try to take the sin square theta inside then sin square theta ig ig into sin square theta plus again a y bar square into sin square theta, theta will get now the remaining denominator is a h bar and similarly uh, try to separate the denominator for each and every term ig sin square theta by a h bar plus a y bars a y bar square sin square theta by a h bar okay ah yes here y square sin square theta means here h bar only okay h bar is equal to what we can write it as y bar sin theta from the relation of the second right right angle triangle uh, h bar is equal to we can write it as y bar sin theta so here y bar sin theta whole square means h bar square it becomes so then try to cancel a a terms and one h bar term from the two h bar terms we can cancel so now try to write the remaining equation h star is equal to h bar so remaining term h bar plus ig sin square theta by a h bar okay which is the equation for finding the location of the center of pressure from the free surface of the liquid in which an inclined plane submerged okay so two uh, terms you have derived one is hydrostatic force and another one is center of pressure hydrostatic force the formula is as it is we got for as in the case of uh, vertical plate so that is rho g h sin bar but center of pressure is different that is uh, h bar plus ig sin square theta by a h bar okay so like this we can find the center of location of the pressure and hydrostatic force so i hope you understand the simple derivation part 
and if you don't understand please feel free to give a comment to my video and once again thank you all